All right, what I want to do, guys, I want to do the exact same problem, but by doing quadratic formula. You guys remember, I showed it by doing completing the square, right? And that's what you guys are going to have to know for your retake quiz. Um, however, there is another method, which is the quadratic formula. And for those of you that remember the quadratic formula, okay? And what is our A, B, and C? Well, I already have this on a previous video, so you guys can check that out later. And remember, it's A, X squared, plus BX, plus C. So what I'm going to do is, gonna, all you do is you really just plug them in, and then just work with your math skills. So opposite of B is going to be a negative 6, plus or minus 6 squared, minus 4 times 2, times 3, all over 2 times 2. All right? Sure. All right. Um, so therefore, let's just simplify. Actually, do you guys remember what, what was the answer for the other problem? It was. Oh, 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 just one person, yes. Three plus or minus the square root of three all over two. That was Okay, so then this is 36. Uh, this is 4 times 2 is 8, 24. Right? That becomes 12. Now, we can reduce our radical. We can simplify this radical to 4 times square root of 3, so it would be 2 radical 3. Let's do our work over here. So I have a negative 6 plus or minus 2 radical 3 over 4. Now, you guys notice I can factor out, a, or I can uh, cancel out a 2, right? So if I delete out a 2, I'm left with the 1 here, 2 will be there, and 3 will be there. So negative 3 plus or minus radical 3 all over 2. What do you know? It's the exact same answer. Right? So it all depends on us. However, for your retake, though, I'm going to ask you to do complete the square. However, if it just says to solve using any method, try to first factor it. But once you figure out you can't factor it, either do complete the square or quadratic formula. Okay? Depends on the numbers and how strong you are on each one, which you can do. Do you have any other